hello everybody so welcome to the online tutorial section today we'll be discussing how to make a pdf file which is small in size and easier to transfer from one system to the by mail or whatsapp or anything because normal practice is you create a photograph and then convert that photograph into the pdf and in that case is what happened the page order is not sequential you have one two and then five comes up and then ten comes up and then it become very difficult for you to refer plus teacher to refer during the evaluation process so today we will be discussing about how to minimize the size and make it ordered and arranged properly for that uh, you don't have to do much but you have to just open your app and uh, there is an app available on the play store it's free of cost it's adobe scan so once you click this adobe scan a default page comes up and then you can see at the bottom you can see at the bottom there is some there's a button that says uh, your uh, Uh, camera and the image that is if you are to directly scan you you will use this camera and for image you will be using the square button okay so right now i will be going for a direct scan i am not using photograph because this will increase my size fine so i'll click this button and my camera opens up uh, i have fixed it in a tripod what i recommend you you can hold it or you can arrange accordingly the way you are doing then you place your document or place your place your uh, text if you want it's a landscape you can rotate your camera arrange it landscape form and then focus it and it will automatically look for your document if you want to go for manual you can go for manual also but normally it automatically detect your document and it captures it now at the bottom you can see it's keep scanning is there and if it is not you can see it's cropped properly if it's not cropped properly you can arrange it uh, align it and then you can go for you can then touch uh, keep scanning now once you uh, click this it will start the next scan so while it captures i'll just turn my page keep it ready okay and then it will Hold, we have to hold it steady and it will capture your photograph so you can see there is a lot of uh, cancellation thing we will uh, learn how to uh, remove those cancellations so that our work is neater now move on to keep scanning we move on to the next page do not have to worry about that it's uh, taking outer space more uh, automatically it will detect and it will crop that much portion so you can turn the page while the meantime it's scanning so we are on the next page that is right now we have done three pages and this is my fourth page and it which is scanning now it's capturing and then by the time it captures we can turn the next page and then uh, if it's not arranged i can uh, order it up and then i can scan in case if it's not tilted or it's uh, not done properly you can uh, take a read uh, there's a button retake if you see that in one it scans up it's have a button that says retake now this will be cancelling like right now an extra border has comes up i want to retake it again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to touch this retake button so again the previous scan will cancel up touch the screen it will zoom and adjust the camera focus and it will scan my document so you can see it's scanning and now i can crop i can crop it you can take screenshots uh, you can scan whiteboard forms digital ids so it's not come up so i can do it okay so i can do it like this and then i say i have uh, five pages and then again i have this is my last page so i'll put it up and then i finalize this thing so there are total 6 pages we have scanned 
so we close the work crop it accordingly and we will now start working with it so the next what we are going to do is we have to click this adjust and save so the moment we click adjust and save it will save my file and it normally saves in a document file so you can see it's uh, you can zoom out zoom in and see that it's uh, readable turn to the next page by swapping and large and see just see the clarity okay oh oh this is not scanned properly okay so what i'm going to do is i will remove this page okay this is also not scanned properly so two pages not scanned properly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these pages and redo it so what i'm going to do is at the top bar you can see the delete button so i will delete those pages and I'm deleting question number five and six. So I'll open those pages and keep it ready so that when I redo it, I don't need to search for. So five and six, I can mark that this has to be redone. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. It says, do you want to delete? I say yes. Page deleted. Six also I want to delete. I will say delete. It will delete. Okay, now this is okay, perfectly fine. Now I have to arrange it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if you see this add pages, I'm going to use this feature, add pages. And the moment it asks for two things, take another photograph or select from photographs. So if you select from photographs, obviously it will increase my size. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it right now. So I'm going to touch this button, add another photo so the moment i click it will open the camera once again i have set my backdrop so it's question number five only displaying on my tripod and once it does it it will ask me to scan another page so i have one more page so and right now i need not to worry uh, what will be the order that i'll adjust later on so i adjusted my page keep scanning and i'll adjust it now so it I can touch so that it brings the focus so I have done with the two pages so you can see the count will become six now so my uh, scanning process is done uh, I will crop it accordingly I don't want any white spaces extra spaces outside okay so I just uh, touch now adjust and save so the moment I touch this it will go to the page now you can see this fifth page is far better now and the last page that is the sixth page again it's okay fine now uh, again uh, you can see the order is there one two three four four ke baad maras next section aa gaya okay so i want these two pages to be adjusted so what i want to do is i use this option reorder page okay so the moment i click it will show me the pages and I have to change this to fifth last to fifth okay so I changed I hold and you can change the position so fourth and fifth I place at the right place then I will uh, you can see the tick mark here this I'm going to touch and it will okay it has ordered now you can just turn around and see the sequence it's nice and clear no extra spaces only the region that is there four and then five question comes up then six you can see that is there now one more thing and between there is a lot of cancellation is there so i don't want that untidy work to go to my teacher so what i'm going to do is you can see at the bottom there is something known as cleanup so what i'm going to do i'm i'm going to clean my work so i'm going to touch it and uh, it says drag over the area to be erased and zoom for better position so i can zoom to get the position so i can use two fingers select white space and i will touch so you can see it's cleaning done it's extra cleaning done say undo so on the top you have undo button okay and then okay to do the uh, done button to do the uh, pick done button so it will uh, you can see it, it's wide drop now next okay i have one complete line written so i can clean up with this i can zoom to get the position okay and 
if it's done by mistake i can how does it up okay again mistake done so i will undo and then i'll reduce my size and clean this portion so you can see i can clean that part make my work tidier okay so this way i can do i can zoom in zoom out over oh, there some extra so this can also be removed so this page done i will click done so this is done and we move on to the next page it is okay this has some cancellation so i'll clean it up quickly i'll clean up and then i'll move on to save and move on to the next page so again it has some cleaning to be done so this i can easily do okay so this way i can clean up and some i can reduce my size and do my minor detailing this thing can be cleaned up like this okay so my work become neater and presentable also so i save done so i have done with the thing uh, it's arranged now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go for save so i'm going to rename a file save with your name say my name is say durgesh so i'll write durgesh the name of the file or say it is of section a means uh, paper has four sections or uh, it's section a i'll type section a if it is a complete you can write the examination name so then i rename it so when i rename it i can save my pdf so if you can see there is a button that says save pdf this i'm going to touch it will ask that it's saving your pdf now normally it saves in the cloud so default it will save in cloud so you can see it's uploading going on okay so it's uploading is going on over here what i will be doing i will be saving in my mobile also so i'll go and save copy to my device normally it saves in a download folder you can see the file name and then you can click okay fine so it's being saved in your a mobile device and if you want to share you want to send it by mail you can send it by mail or you can share a copy now when you share a copy you can share it in whatsapp you can share it any social media or even you can do it on any of the options available okay so you can save it on mail or cloud or anything you can do it like this so right now i'm not doing that so this way you can see that i have saved my file now my this process is completed i can open in adobe acrobat and i can see my file the next step is i will tell you that the main issue was the size so we'll see the file size normally it saves in a uh, download folder so internal device download you can see this is there 1.53 mb so such a small size so 1.53 mb compare normally if you do it uh, will be 5 6 7 pages will be of around uh, uh, 10 to 20 mb so you can see that it's neatly done i can see the flow it's coming out nice and crispy everything is clear okay so you can um check that it's in sequence also question number 1 and then question number 2 3 4 5 means i read done it and it's reordered so i don't have to worry about ordering once you keep on practicing it it will be more perfect with that so this is the way you can save your time you don't have to make multiple files and unnecessarily hang up your space because we know space is important and for you also for us also you have to keep maintain a record also in case any data is not there with the teacher or it's not received so you have to provide the backup otherwise it's gone so this way uh, i hope it's clear you can uh, complete your work and then you can make the system uh, even the evaluation and you also have less space occupied on your device okay so let's end up with this hope you learned how to save time energy for above all memory of your mobile device because it hangs if you exhaust a lot of you consume a lot of space it hangs also so i hope uh, this tutorial will help you out thank you and have a nice day